A very good morning from a James Ryan Brookhart. Oh, it's a it's a sleepy start. We're gonna go on a little adventure to pick up our roaring forks while uh, Mama edits. We're gonna get roaring forks. James and I are done with our little adventure for the morning. It is a beautiful morning. It was way too cold, like at 6.30, at 7 a.m. It was like 46 degrees. I think now it's up to like 52, 53. Warm enough to go sit and eat um, these, this amazing breakfast sandwiches from Roaring Forks on the balcony. I got a double espresso. We got both got bagel sandwiches with some potato hash. A whole different level of magical to be able to just walk from the room to a quick service knowing that I'm just walking back to my room. I feel like that's an invaluable piece that maybe because I've been a local now for three years, I sometimes forget, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Wow. That looks good. You know, it looks good. You guys. This burrito supreme. <laughs> This is what I walk out to. Big cat party time. He is too big. He's actually, I think, watching the TV more than he's, he's just, watching I you. I want to do DVC deed. All right, the sleepy boy has got his nice jacket on. He's ready to go to Fort Wilderness. Sarah and James have, well, James went left, but Sarah has not left the room today. But the vlog is now up. We're gonna go walk around, maybe check out the DVC booth, maybe make our way to the boats to go over to the fort. Someone's ready to go. Boom, boom. I don't know if I've even been in the vlog today. I don't know if you have. You've been working. But I think maybe we'll just eventually just stroll all the way to the boat. Yeah, and go to by the fort. Maybe. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Coffee for the road? Oh, it's called a roadie. So check it out. They're actually using Green Station. Like the DVC lounge that was like a paid Never club. meant to be. Right, it was like a club, a special club charge. Just we were gonna for do it members. for our 10 year anniversary. That's how, like, two years ago was when they built it and they were trying to make it like a club lounge. It was but, never picked up. And so they closed it, but now I guess they're using it for like little activities. Like, you can buy like crafts, crafts here. Tie dye. And they have like the schedule for like movie under the stars and stuff. Yeah. Pin trading is here, coloring sheets. See? Coloring sheets, pin trading, mm. love it. Then you've got like you decorate your own ornament kit. Sign up for Mickey tie dye. Movies on the star schedule. Oh, look at this e pin. <gasps> Those jack pins too. Yeah. Oh, and I like this one over here. Santa's house in the pool. What is the Santa? Color your own letter to Santa. And we didn't notice this until just now, but apparently there's like a bunch of seating out by the water. Things do you want to make a llama? He's snoring. Strapped up in there nice and good and cozy. So we're walking by the cabins now. Because I was hopeful that cabin 8013, which is like being used right now as the DVC open house, we could just, there'd be a sign just to walk in. But you have to get it organized and stop by the desk, which. So if you're interested in your DVC member while you're here, you can go and see them. Where the sidewalk ends. This is what the, just past the last cabin going towards Fort Wilderness or what's going to be later known as Reflections. I wonder if they're going to eventually build this out so you could walk to Reflections and then walk additionally to the fort because there is a walk, a path that I think I'm going to go on a run tomorrow morning on that is like further that way. There's birdies. Yes. I just saw a cardinal. We're in like the marsh of Florida over here. This is like, that's, this is what naturally is here. Like when Walt bought the land. Oh, so I think the road between Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness is closed for a reflection project maybe. But if you look, I'm gonna see if it pops out. There's like two deer. Oh, it heard me. A deer right there. They're so cute. 
They're big. So, I will put in our clip here what we thought was gonna be our victorious <laughs> boarding group video from this morning, 7 a.m. Tried for Rise, failed again. Trying to get Rise of Resistance, it's 6.59. I'm on the homepage and I'm waiting to... It's not letting me. Not currently enrolling additional guests. Did we miss the FS? I'm, like, it's very frustrating because like there's not. I'm really good at the theme park stuff, <laughs> and I can't get this boarding group thing down. Right. We gotta catch this bus. Oh yeah. Okay. So we obviously did not make that bus. We are not going to Hollywood Studios. We were going to go to Hollywood Studios, obviously, if we got the boarding group, but we did not. So we made today just a resort day, and we're gonna head over to the fort. That's why we wanted to walk over there. That was why we were by the trail. And then we thought we'd catch this bus, but the bus driver saw us and did not wait for us. All right, it was a quick quick wait. It was maybe like three, four minutes. Like, are you so excited? We're gonna be here for a while, I think, because yeah. it's wait till sundown. Yeah. Holy cannoli. Big moment. James Ryan Brookhart's first Disney bus experience. I think this is part of the new Tri-Circle D Ranch. This kind of worked out. It really worked out. Because we weren't going to come here till after nightfall to see all the camp, hopefully the campsites are decorated for the holidays. Uh-huh. But things like Tri-Circle D Ranch is closing in 45 minutes. Yeah, so we made it, like we came here earlier than expected, but we'll get to see some things that we wouldn't have been able to later. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Is, is the new ranch. Yeah, if you're interested in coming oh, over I'm here. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, you can take a boat here from Magic Kingdom. Cool. Obviously, you can get here from Wilderness. Look how good you can see Contemporary, so. Yeah, well really you could take buses here from any of the um, parks. Dry Circle D Ranch. Oh, Home of the happiest happy horses horse. on earth. Do you wanna ride a horse? But boom, Christmas decorations too. Christmas horses? Maybe reindeers are here. Chicken and the horses. Oh my word. Oh, cute. <laughs> Their names are Dolly and Lily. Hi, Dolly. Hi, Dolly. Here we got Phil and Rookie, two of the Clydesdales. Big old horses. Is it early play music? Oh, there it is. 1907. I love this new facility. I love a good Clydesdale. Look at, I love their feet on the bottom. The hooves. So gorgeous. Phil needs some alone time. Oh, look at Rookie. Rookie wants to play. Rookie and Phil are kind of showing off right now. Can you send James here with us? So pretty. They do pony rides here. And there's the times and the prices. Benji, Bandit, and Vader. We got Brutus over here too. Zilly and Skylar. Look at Skylar's eyes. Wow. You're beautiful. You eating some hay? Disney and horses, wait a minute. You all know I love a good rating of bathrooms. These new bathrooms, simple but amazing. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. A bunch of cute photos of Walt and horses. A lot of this is from the old ranch. That they just brought out back over. Wow. So outside of like, I feel like the front is just like what they like to show guests. But like there's like the actual ranching facilities of all the ranch hands taking care of all the beautiful horses here. You don't, I don't think people realize how many horses Walt Disney World has. And how much work goes into housing. But like, that's more than essential jobs right there. Yeah. Like, this has been open since May. And they've been, they're living creatures. They gotta be taken care of. So here's a cool outdoor area where you can actually ride the ponies. Really cool. I wanna do it. We're walking to like Pioneer Hall to see like what's going on over here. I think we were planning on getting like a bunch of appetizers for like an early dinner over here at the bar that's yeah, open. It's called Crockett's Tavern. But as we're walking over, 
reenact what you just did. <laughs> I was sweating bugs away. Yeah, but I was like, we're just quietly not talking, just walking next to each other, listening to Chris's music, and I look over and she's like, <laughs> you are a city girl. I am. I love Frontierland. I love Fort Wilderness, but at the end of the day, I do not belong here. <laughs> You know like the moment when you're not hungry, but then you decide you're gonna eat and then you get hungry? As we walk upstairs, like it doesn't we don't have to wait for it to be nighttime to go eat at the bar, like we can go eat now. Okay, like, yeah, let's go. So Peter instantly gets hungry. Bar doesn't open for another hour and twenty. So we're gonna have to go wander around. Okay. Oh, that's chef. I love it. Now this is a cute tree. I don't know if I don't like word. You don't think cute? No, I think creepy. Creepy? Look at the horse's eyes. Look at that creepy boot that looks like it should be in front of a, a gravestone with the flowers coming out of it. That's like a cowboy's grave. <laughs> I like outside trees. This is one of my favorite. I'm about to buy something here just because we're on vacation. I am about to tell you something. <laughs> it's not that important. It's one of my favorite merchandise locations. Another reason, let's buy something. Um, No, they have these really nice chairs here and uh. they also just have like random stuff. Like holiday activities. I feel like I'm on HGTV. <laughs> Look at how, this is probably one of the cutest shirts ever made by Disney. Explore the wild with, with Explorer Goofy. Look at all the cute fort stuff. This He's is Sarah's chair. He's like James does. The little side smile. Yeah, he is side smiling like James does. And there's my chair. This is Sarah's chair. She wants I'll to have it one day. Four of them one day. One day. So we ventured into like the new section of beach because the other side of the beach is closed. It's Clementine Beach. Clementine Beach, but it's got like crisp new ropes. But we're like far out over There's here. bear tracks. There's not bear tracks, there's dog tracks. It's here. I thought for a second it was bear. I wonder how far we could go this way before we see a sign or somebody yells. But the speakers go all the way out here. So it's like really nice that like we're just out here by ourselves listening to Christmas music. We just wish there were some chairs. What the heck? Where are the chairs? Look who's awake. Yay. We got we snagged the rocking chairs. Now we just have to wait 45 more minutes. I feel like he's gotten bigger like on this staycation. I think so too. Just look at him. <laughs> Little man chilling in the fort. So this is what we're gonna order, Crockett's Tavern, but they're getting ready right now. They don't open for 30 minutes, but there's a window you can order from. But look at this is all cleared out for PJ's takeout. Oh my goodness. We got our drinks from Crockett's Tavern. And I got some water. We got our appetizers coming. Yeah, so we're doing appetizers for dinner because I saw the menu and I was like, we need one of everything. Um, side note, don't be an adult and a jerk at Disney. So I know how I typically get the nojito. This is like a raspberry version of it, which raspberries are my favorite berry. And it is so, so good and so minty. And delicious. All right, here's the nachos. Boom. <laughs> Fried green pickles. Tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> Boom. Jalapeno poppers. Oh, what kind of dipping is that? I don't know, but that dip looks good. That looks tasty. That looks tasty. I wanted to clarify Sarah's comment about don't be a jerk. And what happened is there was us waiting since an, over an hour for this to open. There was another family that was like nearby, and clearly everyone waiting. Clearly everybody waiting, and then right as like right before the window opened, um, three women hopped in, like jumped up to the up to the window, and then me and the other family who had like had already been here got in line behind them because we'd been here for a while. But I guess those three women didn't know that. But the jerkish part is, as the window was getting open, about another 20, 23 people joined them and all ordered once. So it wasn't three people in front of us and the other family that had been waiting there. It was 23 people that were in front of us now. It literally took. 45 minutes for them to order so me and the other like two to three families that were like mm -hmm. but we're here now and we're enjoying it and we're gonna eat delicious food and we're happy and grateful the tree looks even more beautiful at night time Beautiful, We've been right? feeding the, the little boy, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get all fixed up in the bathroom, and then go see lights. Go see lights throughout the campsite. Yes.
We are thoroughly. Should I keep it in the Yeah, water? you should. <laughs> we are thoroughly tired. The campsites were awesome. I feel like we've only visited the campsites during the holidays a few times. So to me, it felt like it was no less festive. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if like there was a lot missing considering like not as many people traveling right now. But there were plenty of campsites yeah. fully decked out. And the people who did like went all out. Yes. Our baby is sleeping on a Disney bus like a proper oh. end of the. He opened his eyes. Oh no, I jinxed it. Like a proper end of vacation day. I almost fell out of my seat just now. <laughs> it feels so right to be back at the lodge. Looking at this beautiful tree. Holding this beautiful, finally sleeping baby. He's been fighting it for probably two hours. Yeah. He deserves just to relax yeah. in our room. We might go to the, the, the lounge later, but we're going to go relax for a little while. Yeah. Well, I was half asleep, but Sarah said, so let's go to Territory Lounge, so... Territory Lounge. <laughs> did I say ter Territory Lounge? So you flip, you, so you flop up. What did you just did say? Did anyone ever wonder where James got his big forehead from? Or a veiny forehead. Or a wrinkles forehead. <laughs> All of the above. His mother, Sarah Marie Brooker. Off we go to the lounge. I am gonna eat some soup. James, how do you do? <laughs> and cooed. <laughs> Defeated. Defeated. They said it should be open daily. They did say it wasn't guaranteed, but that it should be open seven days a week. Well, <laughs> not tonight. We want to go. Not tonight. Should we go to Roaring Fork? Or do you want to check out Kaiser? How's my hair? A little crazy. So we're out here. This is. It used to be my favorite, and then it turned not my favorite because we didn't have like we had a couple like weird experiences. So I'm hopeful. That and, everyone's, and there's sports. Everybody's watching sports and we don't do sports. We don't know what this is for. I don't even know what's going on. Like, I, what, to me, what sport is going I on don't right know. now. And I got, went real crazy and their line in Kugels is still the summer shanty considering it's Christmas in six days. Here is the charcuterie board. It's different. It is. I'm excited. Me too. It looks both good, like fancy and not fancy. Look at this. Turkey sandwich. Waffle fries. I feel like these waffle fries are like new and improved. I have no regrets yet. There might be a future value. Yeah, there'll probably be a regret later. So it's a bison burger with bacon. Crispy and onions, and garlic aioli. And all sorts of sweet stuff. All sorts of fixings. We weren't, we're not supposed to talk about her. <laughs> the baby stirs. I knew I should have carried him. I knew it. Um, B minus. Geyser Point used to be our favorite. We be fell in love with it. And now it's just, it's just not, it's not on our list anymore. Drinks, location, desserts. Either a frog jumped in the water or our son needs a diaper change. <laughs> <laughs> something just um, happened. Are we gonna go to the lobby or go to our room? I think we're gonna walk through the lobby to our room because we need to get back to our room because we're all so full. True. Big surprise, guess what we're watching for the seventh time this weekend. Cell phone vlog. So we've been home, for, home. We've been back in our room for a while. James finally fell asleep. He didn't like. He didn't not sleep today, but he didn't sleep today with all the adventuring. Um, so I feel fingers crossed he's gonna sleep very well tonight. Sarah fell asleep too, which worked out perfectly because I started. You know, this is terrible, but we have not been vlogging enough, long enough during periods of time where Sarah and I give each other gifts. Because for the past three Christmases, we've gifted our, each other our Chicago trip back. Um, I notoriously am a procrastinator for all kinds of gifts for Sarah, but my track record to date has been very successful in still getting it done and getting it done well. Anyway, I literally just started shopping for Sarah, bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon with 15 minutes left to get shipping before Christmas Eve. So fingers crossed about that, but I'm gonna hang out in the lobby because I need to come up with a few more gift ideas. And I figure why not give them their space and get some inspiration from this beautiful lobby. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, just hang out, 
on a comfy chair. Got my laptop, got my cell phone, got my brain, got my heart. And uh, we're gonna get this done. Perfect backdrop to some Christmas shopping. Got the whole lobby to myself. I don't know if I look exhausted, but my eyes, I don't think I've ever felt this like dried and stuck from staring at a screen and scrolling. I'm almost there. I think I need one or two more items that are like heavy hitters, but simple for sale. And I think I'm ready. There's unfortunately one gift that's not gonna make it here until after Christmas, but I'm gonna show it to her and it's gonna be so, so worth it. So worth it. Uh, I told you we'd keep showing you this view, but considering it's 1.20 in the morning, and I'm gonna go sneak back into this room, make sure I don't wake anybody. I'm just gonna say from here, we love you guys, and it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.